come back. Or another, but Rio, Mr. Ryota braces up. Well, if I don't end up barfing my guts out, you guys will have the most adorable wedding in all of history. And there he goes, Rui. How, how can you say something like that, that, Mr. Ryota? You're a teacher. You should know better. Oh, come on. You two will look back on this day. Mark my words. The trip away, he splits with the faculty express line. Those words sound fairly ominous. I can already imagine all the embarrassing stories he deliberately would share with the other wedding guests. We'd probably have so many people rolling in the top of the from laughter that Rui wouldn't even be able to walk properly. What the heck am I even thinking about? Wedding? Rui? Uh, uh, uh. This Rui is losing his usual self, I see. Yup. Now he's got, got me thinking about- Nope, not going there. Nope. Maybe now would be a good time to switch topic. Alright, I even have the perfect material. Hey Rui, you're not gonna believe this, but I saw Miki today. Ray's face cuts to complete blankness in the space of a mile second. It is really shocking news. Maybe I should have eased it a bit. I ended up trans. Uh, she ended up transferring to this school, and we coincidentally wound up, wound up in the same class. Dead silence. I finally start to feel a prickle of my apprehension. We can help together again. We can. Did you talk to her? What? Of course, it's Mickey. Where are you? What's wrong? Aren't you happy? Well, no, I'm not. As far as I'm concerned, she has nothing to do with either of us anymore. Don't you remember? We were kids who held a stupid grudge for something beyond her control. Come on, we're older than that now. Oh, are we? She didn't really apologize, did she? Well, I thought she did. I don't remember. She said sorry or something. I pause for a moment, Rui's expression immediately darkens. I see that she didn't, and I know why. Because she wasn't there to see you fall apart. I don't think you remember Yama, but you were in a really bad place after she left. Even to the point where, I mean, you know. But that wasn't because of Misaki. I mean, yeah, but she triggered the whole thing. It's just when I think about it, I get mad at her. Really mad. So it's probably best for both her and me if she stays away. So, you're not going to be friends anymore? Again? The thought is so baffling that I can't help but stutter. In my mind, we, we'd always been a package deal. Me, Rui, Misaki. It was either all of it or nothing. I mean, you're, ju you're your own person. So you should hang out with whoever you want. But I can't be buddy-buddy with Misaki until she realizes what she's done. I never thought Rui, of all people, would be irrational. How bad had I been, exactly? I'd never seen Rui so upset, at least not in a really long time. Sorry to be a downer. Why don't we just grab some lunch? Um, how about you go on ahead? I need to talk to Mr. Ryota. Okay. Surprisingly, she doesn't ask me any more questions. She gets to lunch without a word. Maybe she also feels rotten inside, like something has been lost forever. I take these thoughts and immediately locate Mr. Ryota, who's just popped out of the f faculty line and, conveniently enough, is heading in my direction. He watches our separation with an eyebrow raised to his hairline. Oh, our newlyweds already running into trouble. Okay, I ignore this. Good timing, Miss Ryota. I want to talk to you. I, I wanted to ask you something. If the question is whether to officially ask Rui out, then the answer is yes. What? No. No, that's not the question. Oh, uh, really? That's a bit boring. Rui and I aren't... you know what I mean. Never mind. I was wondering what it means when you see someone you haven't seen in forever, who you thought disappeared off the planet. It means exactly what you just said. Life is actually crappy, anime. I had never said that. Oh, you didn't? Miss Ryota. Sorry, sorry, I can't help it. Now, who's the person you haven't seen? <coughs> you 
You haven't seen forever. She just transferred into my class this morning. Rui, her, me. You were really close when we were little. Back in our hometown, Seto. As we're soon. Childhood friend. Don't even think about it. Too late. My life is not a crappy anime. It's not. It's not hentai. It's not nothing like that. It's not. It's not. What? what what's it called? Freaking. Too many girls with a guy. I, I don't remember. A harem. Yeah, a harem. This isn't a harem. It's not a harem. I swear. You're right. It's a really crappy anime. So what's the problem? Well, I talked with her, and I think we'll be friends again. But Ruri is jealous. What? No. What is this, junior high? Sorry, I'll shut up. See what when Misaki, or er, that's the transfer student, left. She accidentally triggered a giant depressive state. Basically, left me in the dump for a year. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. Reclaims it was bad. What the? Oh no no! I hate when it does that. Uh, don't know if anyone heard that or not. Oh, my ear suddenly hurts. Yama, when can can you come to my office today? I want to listen properly to you, and the cafeteria is not exactly an ideal environment. Well, I guess that Mr. Yoda got hired into his job for an actual reason. Uh, okay. Yes, I'll drop by after school. Or during, really. Either way, any, either way works. Now off to lunch with you. Gotta eat before the bell rings. Young, growing boys need all the nutrition they can get. He can't sound like the wise, all-knowing teacher when he just implied it was fine for me to ditch school. <sighs> See you later, Mr. Ryota. He only responds with a casual wave before he sa 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 saunders over to the nearest table, chatting easily with a group of students. Okay, bye. Bye, weirdo. And I'm gonna save this and go wherever. Where, how do I save this again? Here we go.